A moment of peace in a temporary home. Jan Bacha lives with his family in an IDP camp outside of Peshawar in northwestern Pakistan. They had to flee their home in late 2014 when the army launched an offensive to clear the hybrid district of the Taliban. The government started firing mortars and so we left our village. We walked on foot for the whole night. We left our houses empty-handed. Our houses were ruined and demolished with airplanes and mortars. There's nothing left there. In recent years, around two million people, almost half of the population of the tribal areas, have been displaced by conflict. This group of elders from North Waziristan fled a similar army operation last summer after the region became a haven for the Taliban and other militants. Since then, less than 300 families have been able to go back. We want the immediate return of people to their homes. We want arrangements of shelters for the returnees. We want the authorities to restore schools and colleges and to provide good education to the students there. But returning requires cooperation. Wary of the security situation in North Waziristan, the authorities have designed a social contract for its residents. And people can only go home if they sign it. Uh, what the contract is saying is basically it is blaming the tribesmen for whatever has happened in, in the tribal area. I mean, especially in the North Waziristan during the last uh, eight, eight, nine years, you know. It is putting the blame for all of that on them. The document specifically asked the tribesmen to pledge allegiance to the state. By signing it, they accept full responsibility if militants come back in the future and agree to form militia to fight them. But for many who say they have fought for Pakistan since its creation in 1947, the contract is an insult. We are Pakistani. If they are suspicious about us, they can check our papers. We are Pakistanis and we are loyal to our country. So why do they want a guarantee? We are Pakistanis, we have protected Pakistan and will do the same in the future. The authorities say the agreement is based on the existing law that governs the tribal areas, and some have already signed it. But many others still have no idea when they will go home, or what they will find when they get there.